So hello, I'm uh, Father William. I've been a monk here in Glenstall for the last 22 years. And uh, I'm originally from, actually from this area, from Limerick, so I didn't go far in life. I uh, uh, grew up in a very happy home. Uh, locally is one of the greatest gifts of my life is that um, I was, uh, grew up in a secure, uh, loving environment and that it's a gift from both of my parents for which I am profoundly grateful. Um, the, my, fa my father would have had a very big impact on me. He was, uh, he died a number of years ago in 2006, but he was a very, very good man, a very mature person um, and was had a very big impact on me um, and my three sisters and brother uh, continue to be uh, a great source of emotional support and just very good fun uh, in, in general. So that's uh, that's the basic route from which I come. I attended the school here and then went to university in Dublin where I studied history. Uh, I had a very uh, a good time in uh, college and was very lucky to have uh, some very good lecturers, and in particular a man called John Horn, uh, who encouraged me to be a little bit uh, more progressive than um, my uh, late teenage uh, self was willing, was ready to be. And I ended up doing a thesis on the links between feminism and pacifism in the First World War in, pa in France, uh, which then opened up a whole ongoing relationship with France and French culture that has been um, a kind of a shaping uh, leitmotif in my life. <clears throat> and after college, I went and qualified as a lawyer, worked in Formoy and then in Dublin uh, with two different firms, which was a very, uh, very uh, enriching experience in that uh, I really enjoyed the law. I enjoyed trying to help people solve problems. Um, and I was very taken with the majesty of the law and its ability to um, really structure a society. So uh, it then came as quite a surprise to everybody when I uh, jumped off my legal horse and joined the monastery in 1997. And then, um, which was, I suppose ultimately it was for me it was part of the search for more that life my life had to be about more um and there was a a, a variety of personal circumstances that uh, led me to to this place and i eventually found that i was very at home here and then the monks eventually had to learn how to put up with me being here so that was a a journey for everybody and uh, I was very lucky. Um, the abbot of the time, Abbot Christopher, uh, very kindly sent me to study in Paris uh, with the Jesuits. And I lived with the Jesuits for four years, which was a very um, hugely exciting experience for me. I was very lucky. I got the grace to uh, feel that every day, every morning I woke up in Paris or any time I stepped out onto the street, it was just just the best gift I could have had, and I loved it. And I was very lucky when I was there. I met a man called uh, Joseph Moin, who was my tutor, a very, very brilliant person. And I think, really, he was one of the key people that helped me to grow in the Christian life. And uh, yeah, so I was profoundly grateful for the encounter with, with, with him and his very generous mentoring uh, had a very big impact on me. And then I came back to the monastery um, and largely uh, worked in the school as a housemaster and as, as a teacher for, for, for most of my time here in the monastery. And again, that has really been um, about people. It's been about um, mentoring students, attempting to, to teach them, to help them to reach for more, to realize that they 
their best self is ahead um, and is always under construction. Um, and it, it has been a great privilege and a, and, and a joy for me uh, to, do, to spend my life doing that. But of course, teenage boys aren't always a privilege to know and teenage boys aren't always uh, pleasant to know. And it's not always a pleasure for to be a teenager uh, for them either. Uh, and so I think a very big part of the nature of a monastic presence in a school in, is that uh, monks are teachers in a school, in a very real sense, have to be the, the guardians of the best self of the children, that they have to constantly remember that they're growing, that whatever mistakes they make does not, that doesn't tell the, the, full, the full story of who they are, that the story of who they are is a drama that has to unfold. Um, and the school has been very good to me in that I have ended up being uh, very uh, friendly with several of uh, my, uh, my uh, past students. And um, I have a very pleasant kind of ongoing work, which is I kind of uh, celebrate many of their marriages, which is great. Uh, it's just wonderful to, to kind of see where people land career-wise and then to get to know uh, their fiancés and then wives. And that's a huge enrichment for me in my life. Uh, it's great. Uh, and I'm very grateful for it. Among the other jobs that I've taken on uh, uh, here in the monastery, was I got involved in working with our congregation, which is a group of monasteries, which uh, spread uh, almost on all five continents of the world. But it meant uh, going to visit other monastic communities. And that was wonderful because you begin to realize that actually um, different monasteries but understand monasticism and the monastic project uh, very differently. So there's a very a wonderful young community in Rwanda where uh, you have people from the two main tribes of the, uh, the Hutus and the Tutsis living together. Um, and that's very difficult for people with such a difficult history together. And the fact that they commit themselves to doing that really reminds you that you're, the monastic life we live here in the relative comfort of uh, East Limerick actually it has a really it has a real importance it's about trying to live our best lives together as we seek god together in this place and trust that it is god who has called us here and god who sustains us here and it is towards god that we try to keep going we, we try to keep going towards and into in, into god so that's um and the monastery in many senses it it's like a trellis or a framework to help the individual monk to to grow towards that so that there's yes there's dimensions of shared life and so on but i can only live my life i can't uh live uh, somebody else's life um, and that's uh, yeah that's kind of one of the hallmarks of life uh, for us here um, so that's um, some of the uh, aspects that have shaped uh, shaped me and uh, so far it's it, it's a life that has been very good to me I have an awful lot more to be grateful for uh, than uh, I had any right to ever expect. And, um, and, and to the extent that anything has not uh, fully played out, that's, that's very much my doing, my own, my own failings, my own character failings and so on. And, but that's not the end. That's not, and indeed that's not even the most important thing. Um, that the dignity of the human person is much bigger than any fault or shortcoming that uh, 
that we may live. Uh, but hopefully I'm going to keep getting better and better in every day, in every way, every day. 